What is up guys, my name of course is Carlo and welcome yet to another Monday special where once again we're going to be focusing on another spell from Harry Potter or another visual effects tutorial shall I say. So in today's video we're going to be focusing on the Income Tartum uh, effect which looks something like this. <laughs> So yeah, a cool little effect. In this particular tutorial, we are going to be focusing on using the Sabre technique. So we're going to be using a free plugin from Video Copilot called Sabre to pull off uh, quite a bit of this, uh, of this effect. And we are also going to be using another Video Copilot plugin uh, called Optical Flares uh, for this effect. And then in the second part of this uh, Incontartan tutorial set, uh, which is coming next Monday, uh, we're going to be looking at using trap code so we're going to be doing a more professional job using trap code now if you check out in the description below i have left you some free assets so you can play around with so i've created the effect so you can put it into your composition right now and start playing around with it so yeah let's just get uh cracking with the tutorial and jump into after effects right so here we are in after effects and we're going to be creating something like this which can be used in your compositions uh, like I said at the start of the video, I will add this in the description below so you can download it, add it to your composition, play around with it, see what sort of results you can get. But as you can see, we've got some nice um, heat displacement, we've got some optical flares uh, in there, and we've got some sparks um, to make this look uh, okay. So, let's do this. So, firstly, I'm going to create a um, new project, obviously. Uh, create a new composition, keep 10 seconds long. Uh, call this uh, Potter, name it wherever you want, make sure it's black, now I'm going to create a new solid, uh, make sure that's black, and click OK, and then we're going to add an effect to this called a saver, um, all the effects that I'm using are free, apart from optical flares, and I will add a link in the description below where you can pick these up, so I'm going to click on electric, um, I'm going to change the colour to my desired red, um, right, so bring the glow intensity up, bring the spread down, bring the core size up to about there, and that looks pretty cool. So, I'm going to put this in position now. So, start point, end point, like so. And then we're going to play around with this, um, this uh, saber thing. So, we're going to go to effects window. I'm going to type in turbulence, uh, if we can spell it, <laughs> I'm going to drop turbulence displace on top of that, that's going to give us our wavy line, but as you can see the, it's moving um, the, the, the fire, but it's, it's not moving the line, so how do we do that, it's very simple, come to turbulence displace and you'll see evolution, if you can't see it just undo the arrow, um, click stopwatch, bring the timeline all the way to the end, like so, and then just move the wheel around how you see it fits and that's just going to give you your wobbly um, animation like so which is looking pretty cool so we're going to rename this uh, lightning one and then we're going to press enter command do that to duplicate and then we've got lightning two which is hidden behind here we're going to right click and we're going to set the blend mode to uh, add and then we're just simply going to rotate this um, around 180 degrees place it back into our composition like so and now we have two like so now the only problem with this this is moving exactly the same as this which is not very realistic so i'm going to make sure lightning 2 is selected we're going to go a bit over and then we're just going to move our wheel around uh, differently so what that's going to do is just change the animation on that second light also going to click the second light and change the color of that to a nice green so here we have we've got two different colors and we've just created the clash effect in a couple of seconds which looks pretty goddamn awesome wicked right so now we are going to uh, highlight both of these so uh, 
hold down shift and then we're going to go to layer and pre-compose that and call that uh, lightning comp or name it whatever you want move all attributes click ok so now that's got its own comp so we can if we need to change anything we can do it individually um, like so so we're going to go to effects and we're going to type in heat distortion uh, which is another video copilot plugin and we're just going to drop that on top and then that's going to give us a really nice um, heat um, distortion how should I say so when it moves let's go to preview it, you've got the heat coming off of it as well and it looks pretty pretty cool let's bring the heat amount down a bit um, it does uh, add to the effect and then we can go back into our lightning comp and change anything we want uh, afterwards so we're just going to leave it like that for now like so we're going to create a new solid we are going to make that pure white click ok click ok again i'm going to hide our solid for now get our ellipse tool and we're going to create a circle like this if we turn our ellipse tool on now we've got it white hit f on the keyboard and let's just film the living crap out of that so now what we've got guys is our clash thing whatever you want to call it um we're going to select our solid okay and then we're going to command d that to duplicate it to make it brighter and then top layer we're going to rename um flare 2 like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our um pen tool and then we're simply going to cut that part there like so hit F on the keyboard fill that out and bring this in this mask let's feather it more bring it in try and bring it into the circle you can but if you don't bring it into the circle it don't really matter like so Let's click on our flare effects, video copilot, VC color vibrance, which is another um, free plugin, which I will obviously add in the description below. And I'm just going to play around with the light intensity coming off of this. So let's just bring that over, uh, bring that down, like so. And then we're going to get our other flare, and then I'm going to right click, video, uh, video copilot, VC color vibrance again. And then I'm just going to change that to a red. Like so. Scale that down. And as you can see, it's not looking too bad at all. So, let's just bring this sort of over to about there. About there. And let's bring the brightness up a bit. Sorry, bring the vibrance up. Uh, bring the luminance down. Bring brightness up. Just a touch, and then we're going to get this and just place it about there. And that's going to give us like the impression that this is clashing. Okay, so that's not looking too bad. So now we're going to create a new solid. And make sure that's black. And let's try and name this obstacle. Flares. Click OK. Alright, click on it. Go to Effects, Video Copilot, and Optical Flares. Now I've got a really nice one that I use all the time, so I'm going to try and find it for you guys. Which is this one here, which is quite nice. Um, change the colour of that to like a, a red or whatever. And then I'm just going to hide all this gump here. So hide that, hide that, hide that, hide that, hide that, hide that. I just want this on its own. Okay. Let's bring the scale up a bit and click OK. And then let's go to um, optical flares, go to blend mode, and go to screen. Make sure it's selected, obviously, so you can move it. Put it over the top. Get a colour dabber and sort of 
color it in there and then reduce the brightness like so and now we've got our optical flare but now what you can do if you command D that twice we're going to get the top one make sure optical flare is selected bring it over here get the other one bring it over here like so we're going to get this one and we're going to change the color effects video color pile again vc color vibrance and we're going to change that to a green with our color picker like so normally it does a pretty good job at matching the color up but yeah get this one effects video code parlor easy color vibrance change that to like a white and go to this is why you should always title things <laughs> uh, this one effects video code parlor easy color now when the thing is what I forgot to mention when you're using these colors and all these layers then obviously it's going to take a bit of a strain on your CPU or your graphics cards so always remember that um, so yeah that looks pretty awesome now finally we're going to import um, a spark element which I got from action essentials 2 this is normally I would do this in um, trap code um, but today we're going to use this one because um, it's going to be free for you to download in the description so if we move forward, you can see we've got a nice spark here. So I'm just going to put that spark into position that I want, about dead center there. And I'm just going to put it beneath my optical flares. Like so. So now we've got the sparks coming off the center. Command D that, say, twice. And just basically line them up like you would uh, normally. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to hold the top welding down or the top spot down, highlight all three, layer, pre-compose, spark, like that. And then I've got to command D it once again, which is here, and then I should have sparks going all the way through my video. Right, so now that is too much over the top. So that's over the top. So I'm going to change the blend mode to screen on that one, change the blend mode on the second one to screen and then I'm going to get the second one which let's get the this one here, open it up, transform, let's rotate it, make sure we go on it actually. Now that's at the top, so the spark's coming out of the top as well, uh, which is cool. I'm going to drop this one just below that flare there, and I'm going to drop the second one below this uh, flare as well, um, just so it's sort of hidden behind the um, the optical flare. So we've got our power things here, which looks pretty cool. Um, it's entirely up to you guys how you design this, um, but all this bit here you can sort of mask out, which is what I would do, and the way you would do that. Is I'm going to get the whole composition like so. I'm going to go to layer pre compose and I'm going to call this Harry Effect. Like so. so you've got one neat, tidy composition, and then what you can do is get your uh, masking tool and just draw a mask or quick garbage mat. Don't go over this bit here. Don't cover the sparks. Right, so hit F on the keyboard, further the living crap out of it, like so. And now what you've got is your Harry Potter Incantatum, whatever you call it, um, effect done, and it looks pretty cool. You can change it if you go back into the comp, change it as much as you want, add whatever colours you want. Uh, animated the way you want um, and yeah that's basically it so as always guys if you have enjoyed this video a like rating is always always loved and obviously if you're not subscribed to the channel remember to hit that subscribe button uh, guys plenty of more tutorials coming to the channel um, as always 
Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next Harry Potter tutorial, which is uh, uh, next Monday. So as always, guys, thanks for listening, and I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao, guys. Thank you.